Hey there internets, I'm Michael and you are watching To Can Play That Game. So in this video um, I just wanted to take a short amount of time just to show you the setup I'm using uh, to make these videos just in case any of you out there are interested in trying to make your own YouTube videos and you don't really know where to start or feel you don't have the equipment. I just want to show you that I was in the same situation and I bodged it together. You, you don't need a lot of money to make this work. Um, obviously, long term, I would probably have to invest some. But um, if you watched my first video, my introduction to the channel, uh, then I did promise to do this video. So in a second, I'm going to come towards the camera, grab it, flip it around and show you what's going on here. Um, if you didn't watch my first introductory video, please do. Uh, if not, then please at least watch the ones about the games. So without any further ado, let's uh, grab the camera. So I'm just in my living room here. So let's uh, flip this round. That's the Christmas tree. Obviously, uh, it's Christmas time. So this is my makeshift tripod here. So obviously, it has three legs, so it is actually a tripod. However, it was actually a sketch easel that my wife had and has never used because she received a couple at the same time. Um, but... Obviously, now I have given it a new lease of life. So if we take a look down here, you can see each of these legs is very adjustable. So this is working ideally. This was not an expensive thing either. Um, just to point out, it was uh, £10. Um, and I don't know if they'll still do them, but that was from the works. So I'm sure you can pick up something like this yourself very cheaply. So each of these legs has a bit that extends out past the bottom of the natural leg here. So rubber feet on the floor for grip. And you just tighten and loosen the bolt in order to shift that. These bits here, if I can get it to actually look where I'm pointing, um, are doing nothing for the camera setup because these are to do with holding a canvas. So I'm not going to show you the other legs because they operate in exactly the same way. But then at the top here, we have, of the legs anyway, we have a setup whereby we've got bolts on either side. And then the simple thing is you just adjust the legs and tighten the bolts. And then that's compressing the whole thing, holding all three legs in place, as well as determining the lean, oops, sorry, the lean of this upright bit here. So let us follow this up and that will show you this here, which is uh, a gorilla pod I had for an old camera um, that is actually worse than my phone, which is why I'm not using that. But what I've done is normally these bits would be the feet, but I'm using those to hold the phone in. So I'm sliding the phone in like this and it's held in place then. How I attach this to the easel itself, um, it is actually designed to have a screw that comes out of the Gorilla Pod that then screws into the camera. Um, I didn't have a way to screw that directly to my phone. Um, however, the easel has, similar to with the legs, a bolt going through. So then we have here this bolt, same wing bolt as we were seeing on the legs. Um, it was actually the other way around, so that the wing bolt was on this side where it's curved. Um, and I've turned that around so that I could insert the bolt into the Gorilla Pod. Um, so that's doing a fantastic job. So that is the setup here. I just. I wanted to do this video because I know from my perspective trying to do this it felt very intimidating I didn't know where to start and I'm hoping that by doing this other people might find this and be able to do their own videos and get their own thoughts out there thanks for watching to can play that game if you've liked this video and you want to see more of the channel then please do subscribe and as always bye for now